in just five more minutes. Just five more minutes and I swear I'll get up. It's just so comfy. Oh, why is hell so comfy today? That the big guy finally turned down the heating a bit. Wait, this isn't hell. There's way too many pillows here. <laughs> Dang it, did I fall asleep on the job? Oh god, I did. Ugh. If my supervisor checked in on me tonight, I'd be so screwed. Like, I can literally go look for a new job right now. The only job offer I've got is that incubus position. And I don't want to take that. This is awful. At least the human is still asleep, though. Oh. No human here. That's... concerning. It's the middle of the night. Humans shouldn't be up at this time. I'll just check the apartment real quick. <sighs> Honestly, I really expected my human to be more considerate after I literally just explained that humans need to be asleep for a sleep paralysis demons to make money. But apparently... Whoa. Oh, okay. Hey. Why are you standing in the middle of the room like that? Um... Hello? Hello? Demon to Earth? What's up with you? Huh? What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. And I can barely understand you if you're mumbling like that. Are you sure you're okay? You're not having an... Um... What was it called? Stroke? You're not having that, right? Where are you walking off to now? Listen, if you're okay, you should really get back into bed so that I can do my job. And if you're sick, you should probably lay down anyway. That's a human thing, right? Damn it, I should have paid more attention in class. Not like we ever had any human first aid lessons, though. No. Uh, careful there. You're about to walk into your backpack. Jeez, you're not usually this clumsy. What is up with you? You would have tripped over your stuff if I hadn't stopped you. Look, it's like this. You see this thing? It's hell technology. If it glows red, that means you're awake and I'm no longer clocked in. So you really need to... That's not red. That's green. Did I turn... Color blind. <laughs> Look, this is kind of funny. My clock thinks I'm still on shift. It should have automatically detected when you woke up, but it must be malfunctioning. I think it's broken. It only counts your sleep time, 
Let you up, obviously. Oh, unless... Hey, are you sleepwalking? I'm by the devil. I think you might actually be. That's okay. I'll just be careful not to wake you up then. Although... You didn't wake up earlier when I got out. So I think it's fine, right? Actually, this is pretty interesting. Humans are full of surprises. This hasn't happened once in my time as a sleep paralysis demon. I wonder what caused that. Since this still counts towards my hours, according to company standards, I guess this doesn't hurt. I'll just continue working. Let's see. I've never worked with a client that's moving around so much before. I can just try my usual tactic of standing in a corner, but I think this calls for something new. Hmm, let's see. How about I move as well? A looming presence, always right behind your shoulder, no matter where you go or where you look. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's do this. Thank God you're stumbling around so slowly. It makes it really easy to keep up. Oh, alright. Turns are hard. Noted. Uh, um, that's the front door. Leading right into the staircase. Going outside might lead to someone seeing me, so I can't do that. I'd risk the whole industry collapsing if the rest of the mortal world found out about demons. I don't have a good feeling about this anymore. Hey, let's just go back inside. Okay? Uh, careful with the steps there. Whoa. Jeez, oh, are you okay? You almost fell down the stairs. You could have gotten hurt if I hadn't caught you. <sighs> that was scary, I'll admit. I'm supposed to do the scary. How in all nine realms of hell did you still not wake up? This is insane. <sighs> My nerves. I'm not getting paid enough for this. I should probably get you back into bed before something even worse happens to you. Come on. I'll meet you there. Here we go. Just a little further. We're already in your bedroom. The last few steps. Come on. There we go. Back to normal. What? No, no, no. Don't get back up. Hey, what are you doing? Stay in bed. You're sleeping. There. Maybe now you'll stay in bed.
and if I have to hold you down by your wrists all night, so be it. No more incidents. This is actually kind of uncomfortable. Maybe I'll just move my leg over here and... Mm. There. No, that's better. And I guess, since I'm right on top of you now, I can get a bit closer to your idea of a scary demon. <laughs> uh, your eyes are closed. Maybe you're back to actual sleep now. But, um, I'll hold on to you for a little while longer, just to make sure. It's kind of cool not to have to be on my feet for the whole shift for once. <laughs> you look so peaceful when you're sleeping. Kinda cute, actually. I never noticed. I guess I was too focused on the job. Oh, it's no problem. You're welcome. Oh, wait, you're up? Like, are you up for real? Truly awake? Because you were sleepwalking. Well, I guess you wouldn't know that. But now you know. This? Oh, I... I couldn't get you to stay in bed, so I had to keep you down. I don't really know why I'm still doing it, though, since you're conscious again. Huh? Oh, sure. We can stay like this. Don't really see any reason to, but it's no bother. Jeez. You really have a thing for me coming closer, don't you? But you're the expert on what you find scary, so who am I to say no? I messed up tonight already by falling asleep while working, so I might as well try to make up for it. Is this close enough? How about now? I feel like there's not much more room for... <clears throat> what was that? Uh, kiss? What does that mean? Oh, I see. Well, if it's your worst nightmare, it's kind of my job to use that information. Then, we should do it again. For my job, of course. I don't know why you say this is your nightmare. I think it's quite nice, actually. Can we 